Melitza Illich was born on a hot summer's day. It was 40 degrees underneath the Mediterranean sun when Mama Illich went into labour to deliver a healthy yet large four kilo baby. The happy parents were soon to witness their slender baby become the tallest member of the family. And when Melitza started school, the teachers suggested that she should play something respective to the size of her long fingers. And so they bought her a full-sized guitar. It was in 1993 and Melitza was sad. Due to the civil war on the former Yugoslavia, the family had to flee the country. The best option, according to Mama Illich, was to get as far away as possible, Australia. So sad was the little temperamental one that she left for Australia without her beloved guitar. Soon she began to miss playing and she begged her parents to buy her another instrument. Scraping through the second-hand shops, they arrived at a real bargain. It was big, it was ugly. It was a guitar with rusted strings. It's hard to play, but good for fingers, were the words of Papa Illich as he handed the guitar over to Melitza. My first big break was playing in front of my family um, because I would just sit inside of my room and um, practice. There are many more things you can actually say with a guitar performance rather than in words. In words you can say certain things but there are certain things you can't actually express in words and I think that's why I love performing. Um, it actually is another dimension. Everyone who knows you would say that your greatest asset is your, your wonderful ability on the guitar. What would you say is your greatest asset? I think it would be actually my ability to communicate to an audience. Um, and I can do that through writing my own compositions as well as playing um, the guitar. Would you say Melissa well, is the balance between your performing and your composing? Um, I like to do both and I like to think that one day I'll be able to um, do both equally well and travel the world. I am a person of the world, I like to travel, I feel comfortable everywhere I go, um, but I do think in English and um, my friends are mostly in Australia. It's very important to be um, in the midst where everything's happening um, and in Australia it's very hard to get concerts at a frequent rate and as many concerts that I would like. Have you ever been nervous when you've been performing? Have you ever stopped to think about what you're doing? Um, not quite. Um, I think it kind of got eradicated from me when my family said, oh, well, let's bring out the guitar and we'll listen to you. And I said, no, you know, I'll go back to my room. And then they said, oh, fine, we don't care. And that's actually when I got over my stage fright and I never got it back. Um, Thank goodness of the family. They're always the toughest audience, aren't they? Yeah, they're very tough. I mean, nobody really plays a musical instrument, um, but they like to criticise. Um, you know, I don't really think that sounds right. You might try that again. So, um, yeah, they do like to criticise and they push you further than your other musicians. My favourite guitar is a Paul Sheridan guitar, he's an Australian maker, and Australian makers are actually well known to be the best in the world. Uh, he studied with Greg Smallman, who is a fantastic guitar maker, and he's actually gone off on a tangent and produced a wonderful instrument for me. Well, let's see, you look glamorous, you wear glamorous clothing. Where do all these wonderful clothes come from? Uh, my clothes come from um, WA Fashion Designer of the Year, Meredith Forther. Um, she's a fantastic person, a true artist. Um, she makes fashionable clothes, but she's also very original. And she never likes to um, make me too glamorous. Um, she believes in actually bringing out the natural beauty.
Melitza and I have been working together for the past um, year and a half. Her determination inspires me. Uh, her willingness and wanting to achieve great things. You know, she's um, she works she works extremely hard. She's uh, very determined to get what she wants, and she's um, prepared to work for it. She's born to be, born to be on the stage, born to entertain um, people. So she's got uh, great aspirations, and I really think that um, she'll fulfil them one day. Her performances are. Phenomenal. I mean, I recently uh, went to the Jose Carreras concert where Melitza opened the concert, and it was amazing to see uh, the audience of 5,000 plus just become quiet when she started to perform. You know, they really listened to her. chooses music that is powerful and meaningful and that appeals to everyday people. Um, she's not a person that takes off on a tangent or thrives on how to pay, play fast or very spectacularly. Um, she's just very natural and uh, the media pick up on this. very, very serious about her work. She's impeccably groomed, she's always on time, and she's very playful. And the journalists and presenters just love her. They always seem to want more. She's beautiful, she's smart, she's extraordinarily talented, and she's 22 years of age, so she's got a huge future ahead of her. Um, how many other people have, had, have been through what she's been through, you know, the escape from Bosnia and having to settle into a new world and adjust to all those changes and yet find a career that she's just soaring to great heights in. She's just dynamite. She's very precious to us and to everybody that knows her um, and her current sponsors have no intentions of letting her slip through their fingers, believe me.